In this question, there is an ideal auto transformer with number of turns of the various sections as NAB equals to 100 turns, NCB equals to 60 turns, NDB equals to 80 turns and we have to calculate the current drawn from the supply. It is written in this question that auto transformer is ideal therefore there will be no losses in this auto transformer we have to neglect the resistance and the reactance of this auto transformer we have to neglect the exciting current also the number of turns between the points A and B is given as 100 turns you can see in this figure the point B is given here you can so this point B here also the point B can be written here also according to the question the number of turns between the points A and B is 100 this 400 volt is applied across 100 turns therefore the voltage available across 100 turns is 400 volt you can find out the voltage available in one turn the voltage available in one turn will be 4 volt in the same way we can find out the voltage available in 60 turns and we can calculate the voltage available across 80 turns the voltage available across 60 turns will be 240 volt and the voltage available across 80 turns will be 320 volts number of turns between the points C and B is 60 therefore the voltage available across the points C and B will be 240 volts the number of turns available across the points D and B is given as 80 the voltage available across 80 turns will be 320 volts you can see in this figure that this 240 volt will be available across 20 ohm therefore we can calculate the current the current in 20 ohm will be 12 ampere 240 upon 20 ohm equals to 12 ampere you can see from the figure that this voltage 320 volts is applied across 80 ohm therefore we can calculate the current in 80 ohm the current in 80 ohm will be 320 upon 80 equals to 4 ampere now we can use the power balance technique total input power equals to total power consumed the total power consumed will be 12 square into 20 plus 4 square into 80 it will be 4160 watts the total input power total input power can be written as vi cos phi i have written it total input power equals to vi cos phi the value of the voltage is 400 the value of the current we have to calculate and the power factor will be 1 I have written the value of the power factor as 1 because the load is completely resistive because the load is completely resistive therefore the source voltage and the source current will be in the same phase that's why the value of cos phi will be 1 and in this way we can calculate the current the current will be 10.4 ampere supplied 
by the source 10.4 ampere current will be supplied by the source in this way we have solved this problem